Hey guys, this is a G602 Logitech mouse and um, what I'm trying to do here is make this thing silent because it's a pretty loud mouse and what I've done is I've taken it apart you see right here is a click lift alright, this is a right click right here and what I did is I applied some clear tape to dumpen that sound and I'm gonna put it, put the switch back on see if that has helped any let's see if, if I can zoom in on the clear tape So let's see if that worked any. Alright, so I have the switch on now. This is a right click. This is the, the switch I replaced with clear tape. Still has a click. Here's the original one. I haven't messed with this one yet. You can see that it's kind of quiet. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one next. And I'm going to see if that actually fixed my problem. Alright, so let me go ahead and work on that next one. Alright guys, I just want to let you know that with this piece right here, you have to be real careful. If it does fall off, you can put it back on, but you'll have to use tweezers because that's just what happened to me. And uh, spent about five minutes fighting with it, but finally got it on there how it should. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the clear tape on this side and try to get it dampened just like I did the other side. Alright guys, so... I have finished applying the clear tape and what I failed to mention is that I double tape that I put two layers of clear tape and then I stuck it on there and I used this cutting tool to cut the cut the clear tape uh, just so it's around the metal and you can see that it has plenty of movement uh, the bottom portion of the it's not being dumped but the top is so you don't hear it when it comes back up so I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together and see if that has uh, made it silent. And I will say that you will need tweezers for this job because the little white piece keeps falling out on your easy and then when you when you put this back in the mouse you'll have to do it upside down so like this you're going to have to put the mouse over it so it doesn't fall out. Alright so I have the button back on and let's see how loud it is when you click on it not making much noise at all this is our sensor or sensitivity DPI adjustment right here those I don't care about being loud it's the left click and the right click that worries me so there's that one and there's this one so let's go ahead and put the mouse together and see what we get when you're putting this thing together you will uh, have to remember how you took it apart but don't forget that there's two um, whatever the hell these things are called oh one just flew out alright so don't forget that there's two springs right here you gotta put back in there's one two okay uh, now we gotta put the scroll wheel back on now what I can do with scroll wheel if I really want it to, to not be as loud I can take it to the shop my backyard and file it down a little bit but I'm not gonna mess with all that Scroll wheel doesn't bother me as much as uh, actually you can't follow it because it's done on the inside. Just need to get a different scroll wheel. I think the G500 scroll wheel can be replaced with a G502. So you have a spare G500, you can put it in the same exact size. But let me go ahead and put this thing together. Alright, so I have my scroll wheel back in place. And to take that thing out and put it back in, there's a little pin right here. Just don't don't lose the pin whenever you pull it out. All right, so scroll wheel, everything's back in. Let's go ahead and connect the side side sensor. Side buttons should go right here. All right, guys. So I do have the mouse connected to the computer, and it is working. Uh, I didn't want to put the lid back on it till I'm actually certain that it's going to work. So if you see right here. That's my left click and my right click everything's working so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together the only thing I don't know if it's working is these side buttons right here we'll find that out whenever uh, we put it back together so let's go ahead and... alright guys so I have not screwed the mouse yet but here's the clicks 
Um, the left side feels a little mushy, and the right side clicks. Right side feels completely fine. Um, I'm gonna try playing some Marvel Watch with it. See, but you can see how silent it is. Now I want to make sure that it actually does work. So, left side feels a little clicky. I mean, I'm sorry. Left side feels a little mushy. Right side is completely fine. You can see that they're not. There's this one. I am pressing, by the way. I mean, I can do this. But if I'm clicking, I can feel the clicks. You can see that it is pretty quiet. Now, I want to make sure it's actually working. Uh, these buttons, they feel completely fine. I didn't mess with those. And these buttons feel fine. I didn't mess with the scroll wheel. If you can see the scroll wheel. Everything's working just fine. You can see the RGB. So the only thing I need to do is test it out, play some Overwatch, and see if that actually uh, works. Alright guys, so I have the mouse completely together. The only thing I haven't done was reapply the uh, little strips back. I need, I need to buy some uh, super glue or some kind of glue to get those. You can see how silent that click how silent that click is so let's go ahead and test this out on overwatch see how well it works okay so we got the mouse right here as you can see the click works fine so let me go ahead and turn on the logitech mod uh, software real quick and I just want to check my DPI real quick make sure before I jump into overwatch that I'm not I'm gonna lower So the click feels really fine. Um, I want to lower it down a little bit more. Uh, I usually game at 2500 and that's what I'm used to. So um, that way I don't accidentally press any buttons and I, mean, I can disable the DPS button but alright so we're gonna leave it at that. So we're gonna go ahead and play some Overwatch. Alright let's look at here. As you can see, I mean, I'm clicking pretty hard, but if I'm just regular, casually gaming, you can barely hear those clicks. And uh, it seems to be working fine. Like, it's freaking awesome. So the way to, f to make your mouse silent is just get some clear tape. Uh, I, I can say you can probably use one layer of clear tape to give you more uh, uh, distance and travel here, but I use two tapes. So it kind of, the left side click feels a little smushy, but the right side feels fine. You can see right side is a little clickier, louder. Left side is almost none. So what we're gonna play is um, uh, let's let's play some uh, just just some training. I don't really want to get into because I gotta hold my phone while doing this. Let's do practice range. And I don't have any sound because I use uh, I use headphones when I game, so I don't have anything else set up. We're gonna pick soldier as usual, so we can test out. Um, I mean the mouse seems completely fine my side buttons work I mean everything works as it should so let me go ahead and move move to the range all right so let's do left click oh man it's fine wow it, it, I mean I don't see anything that's me clicking though so that's how you would want to fix your mouse is just use some clear tape open it up it's going to take you roughly 15 to 20 30 minutes give or take uh depends on your skill and um you can make your mouse completely silent if that's what you need so there it is guys that's that's what you need to do to get it silent